And tonight, many of our local leaders are responding to the violence online, including outgoing Senator Kelly Leffler, who said she would object to the certification that was taking place today. Um, an hour ago, she tweeted, violence is abhorrent, and I strongly condemn today's attacks on our capital. We must stand united as one nation under God. I'm grateful for our brave men and women of law enforcement. Her opponent, who she ran against, Reverend Raphael Warnock, says the projected winner, um, he tweeted, in this moment of unrest, violence, and anger, we must remember the words of Dr. King. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Let each of us try to be a light to see our country out of this dark moment. And Rep. Barry Lowthermilk says violence against our brave law enforcement is not in line with our values as freedom-loving Americans. I strongly support our rights to peacefully protest, but strongly condemn any acts of violence against our brave officers of the Capitol Police or other others. And Buddy Carter says uh, the violence and anarchy is unacceptable and must end. Please listen to President Trump's call to stay peaceful immediately. Thank you to our Capitol Police and law enforcement. Georgia's new Congresswoman Carolyn Bordeaux released a statement saying this in light of the personal responsibility Trump bears for today's events and his flagrant efforts to undermine the election in Georgia. I recommend the House move forward with impeachment proceedings immediately. Our words matter. Actions have consequences. It has never been more urgent for my colleagues to uphold the pillars of our democracy, end quote. And just like us, Atlanta police say they are watching the situation in D.C. and coordinating with local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies to assist if protest or illegal activities occur. Well, uh, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottom says there is no curfew currently. She is urging people to stay home tonight. Her statement reads in part, millions of Georgians cast their ballots on yesterday because of their belief in our democracy. While there are moments in our country's history in which we may falter, we will not fail.